after the export okay whenever i uploaded it and i said in my google play that my game content ads okay and once my game content ads and i just upload this abb file on the google play store i face this three error which is the common one is basically coming from the dashboard because i haven't copied my dashboard yet properly the second issue i'm facing is the com.google game uh, app permission it's needed which is basically targeted for the 13 so you probably you can see this common error and even i'm getting an error on the uh, 14 plus because my game doesn't have some uh, the updated billing setup but it doesn't have that system or the config okay and now i enable the dds hero plugin and it just uh, this is the last version of the tds hero plugin for now in future it will going to be update more okay and after just enabling this plugin okay just you need to enable this plugin nothing else okay you don't need to write any more extra blueprint code you don't need to press any extra button just enable this plugin and give export once you export then how will we find something like this okay you will not see any type of uh, billing error or any type of kind of like ad or any type of like kind of if I say the add move ID missing or the API missing storage missing it going to be fix all of your issue it going to be fix your billing issue it going to be fix your storage issue it going to be fix your Google com dot Android ads permission error okay it's going to be fix your uh, exporting and the storage permission for android 13 and android 14 as well okay so it's by default and automatically it's going to be fix your most of cases uh, your most common problem and most you know irritating that you can't solve by default with the blueprint it's this plugin going to be help you okay so as you can see after the export it doesn't give me any more error i can now simply click on save and i am able welcome back in tech Day studio and in this video i'm going to give you the overview of new tds hero plugin and what's new in the tds hero plugin so first we updated the website of tds hero plugin and we are also going to update our other plugin as well so now we are going to officially shift to astra developer and we all seem to draw our website look by ui and ux as well you will also get the information more about the plugins and etc like what is the improve what is the change or words so also you find the new blueprints that which are added or which are basically removed or how it's going to be work okay and lastly you find our tutorial videos and for more uh, information you can join our discord for more additional supports okay first let me explain you what's new in the tds0 plugin and how you find that too you can visit directly our epic store or epic marketplaces and there the plugin is totally free you can easily download it from by your epic account it's totally free okay so you find here the technical document and that is a pretty similar like what we are providing and this plugin support 5.1 to 5.4 uh, which is the lastest version of the unreal engine okay cool now let's see what is the new in on the new tds hero plugin 8.0 so in the new plugin we fix the android 12 storage issue as the android storage 13 and 14 as well we also fix the api level for the android 13 and 14 which is basically needed we also change the billing version to 6.27 to point which is now record for android 14 or which is the android 14 or api level 34 so the plugins will be going to fix your billing issue for both android 12 13 14 okay as high uh, as well also it's going to be fix your google AdMove permission that is now it's required if you are using any type of google AdMove sdk you must need to give uh the google about the permission that by default it's not coming so tedious hero will be automatically fix that also you find the external and storage issue fix which is basically required for this save game okay now here's a quick look of all the plugins which are available in the new tds hero plugin so first there's the extra blueprint code where is you find the tds matchmaking and tds get time match timer so the match timer said oh i forget to and i misspelled the tds match making which is not it is the tds match time setup so you know that if you're creating about any type of multiplayer game probably you use the time counting so, or even for your offline game so at that point you can use this timing system where it's automatically have the seconds minutes that also you can get it from anywhere and you can call that and you can get the return value of 
seconds minute and even the match is done like even the time is 0 0 0 you will be find a boolean output from there also you find the tds widget maker which is basically allow you to uh, write code more faster you just need to select your widget class and it will be automatically going to be appear fourth you find the tds set mouse always which is basically show your mouse cursor in your game you can easily control that after that you find the dev helper that dev helper will allow you to give a your own custom uid maker which is provided a 17 digit of uid which is totally will be a unique you can use for the random matchmake or random uid generator as well also you find the tds max word type where you can set a limitation of your typing for example a user writing you have a text box you want to give a uh, the user can write only 12 words or characters only so at here on the uh, B, you can put that the limitation of the word and after that the input and output you will be get the exact amount of that amount of text after that if there's anything more it will be automatically cut down after that you find some depth message for tds sdk implementation print hide message will be which will be help you to disable or enable the print string in the game with the blueprint it will help you to for the debug as well also you find the graphic system where you can control the graphics for both android ios vr steam vr and for high-end console which is playstation xbox mac and windows as well and even linux as well you can control the graphic system from high low max you find some dev helper also additional where you can fix the texture streaming overpower load texture streaming for the mobile and texture streaming for the console the console will be allow you for both playstation and xbox for the mobile it will be going to support vr android and ios and for pc you find it for windows and mac you find also the project configuration setup where you can by default or can with the config you can change the default quality of the project or the limitation of the load system on default load high and max also you find the tds game performance shower and tds game google game as initialized the tds game performance shower will be help you to show you the fps units game graph and utilities shader compile draw calls and etc more okay i already explained you lots of about the blueprints let's try to use them and let me show you how it's work and at the by the way and this video will going to update and you can join our discord server which is basically our uh, Take the studio discord server you can join there you can ask help if you want if there's uh, anything i'll try to help you also don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel which is the take the studio so yeah don't forget to subscribe it there's a tons of video available okay now cool we already have a preview now now let's enable once you install the plugin from the epic launcher you find that if you go to the plugin sector you find at the top page called a tds studio tds take the studio product okay and there you find the document you can from the plugin here you can go to the documentation sector as well and also from the supports you can go there too you can see the version of 8.0 it can be updated as well in a future so you don't need to worry about if anything change i'll try to update the video okay once you enable the plugin it will be required you to restart your engine once you restart your engine the all the blueprint score are added in your project right now you can open the level the class let's now add a big and play with the big and play let's me let me add a simple code that i want to let's start with the widget one because it's needed because it's going to help us display as well for example i create a simple widget a widget blueprint something like that let's give it name ui and instead of ui let's add a canvas panel if you think that it's showing something like this you can go to parent view so it will be give you more uh, which is basically you know suitable or you are familiar with so let's add a simple which is basically a canvas panel which is allow you to add it and adds buttons and etc more at here let's add a simple text at here at the top and set it to middle now as usual for display the widget what we will be going to use we are going to create a widget display going to widget add to viewport no just simply write tds and here you find the tds widget maker and now simply just plug it something like that and now it's going to be work you don't need to write any additional code 
just write TDS and as you can see the code is going to be appear for you which is basically help you second you want to now you maximum time search that state FPS and ETC state we need you want to see the game how the game your performance and you want to see in the blueprints let's try to enable it from the our blueprint you can search the TDS and here you find the TDS game performance shower just simply connect with this and run this function this function will be automatically allow you to see the FPS unit MS FPS game draw calls RTS GPU time dynamic raising draw calls and frames as well so as you can see how much easy it's it now suppose you want to you are doing some printing something like that printing let's say that hello world and you write tons of code something like that but you don't want to remove every time that you know something like that uh, you write a tons of debugs and you now don't want that unplug them you just want to see or test that without the printing how you can do that it's very simple now you can search TDS and here you find that print message hide and print message show you can both hide and you can both uh, show it okay so let's disable it after the three seconds so let me connect with a delay and let me put the value three and connect with the print message hi so now if i click on play i'll see the message okay something like that and next time it's not going to be show me the message as you can see it's now not showing me the message because the blueprint has been run now for enable it i need to again give it show message so now from now it will be show start it will be from next time after the blueprint execution it will be start showing the print string which is basically help you on your debugs and your developments next is tds if you go to tds and there's a as i said that there's a match time setter and current match let's make the add match making time system let me just remove this all of this thing and with the widget let me show you something this is enough for today's video in the next video i'll try to explain you more thank you so much for watching see you in the next tutorial video